Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Our Chief Meteorologist Mark Schnackenberg. The wind diminishing here this evening. It will be light overnight under a clear sky. Nice and cool. Temperatures in the 40s to about 50. Tomorrow, another day filled with plenty of sunshine, a little less on the wind, and then mostly sunny sky here during the day on Saturday. So that wind dies down here as the sun sets and will be light overnight. Here we are first thing in the morning and into the afternoon. Not bad on the wind. 10, maybe 12, 13 miles an hour all out of the westerly direction. It's going to be clear tonight, sunshine tomorrow, sunshine on Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday morning. So here we are, 1 o'clock Sunday morning. Off to the north and west, a few showers and some thunderstorms. They'll roll into eastern Iowa during the overnight hours. Some of the rain could be heavy at times, and by 7 o'clock in the morning, still some rain and isolated thunderstorms. That winds down as we get towards lunchtime, and then dry conditions are expected for the afternoon. Could see about an inch, maybe an inch and a half or two in some isolated areas. So beneficial rains there. Now we're going to jump ahead to Friday afternoon. A lot of clouds around, just a small chance for a shower, maybe a stray storm. As we get into the day on Tuesday, here we are Tuesday morning. Uh, rain looks pretty likely here during the day on Tuesday. It's going to be a raw day. Rain, steady and windy and cool. Now as for the amount of rain, it could be about an inch of rain, a possibility there. And there could be a few showers lingering into the day on Wednesday. Uh, before this finally moves away from the picture. So with that in mind, you add those two together, and we could see anywhere from one to as much as three inches of rain across eastern Iowa over the next seven days. Now, as for temperatures tonight, we'll be down into the 40s with your Storm Track 7 forecast. It'll be a cool night, normal lows in the mid-50s. As we head into the day tomorrow, normal high close to 80 will be a little bit above that with the wind out of the west at 5 to 15 miles an hour. So again, a little less on the wind than what we saw today, which were gusts near 35 and 40 miles an hour. Now, as your city-by-city city forecast shows, we'll stay dry here on Saturday. It's that rain that I just showed you Saturday night into the morning hours on Sunday. High temperatures will be in the middle to upper 80s. Yes, it'll be warm, but it won't necessarily be very muggy. So good news there. As for Monday, slight chance for a storm for Labor Day. Temperatures near 80, not much on the wind. Then the wind kicks up here on Tuesday, and there's your best chance of rain on Tuesday. And temperatures will be cool with in the low 60s. A few showers may linger into the day on Wednesday, still a bit breezy, and then we'll dry out here as we head into Thursday and Friday. Temperatures will slowly start to warm as the wind starts to shift around to the south. Temperatures will be in the 70s for the following weekend with an isolated storm chance on Saturday, dry on Sunday.